you're trying to you have bottled up but if you let it out they're going to call you a typical black man you get what i'm saying right so, uh to be highly educated to be articulate to be well spoken is looked down upon um you know you're accepted in some circles then other people look at you as a uh sample like you're like you're tap dancing right. around to like to fit in when i know i'm supposed to be in those rooms regardless of how i act but it's a certain stigma associated with being intelligent and uh unemotional what what yeah. what it depends on the circle some circles yeah, I don't need to be in them circles. If they call me a sambo for being articulate, and hey, bro, I I managed for eight years. You realize the only people who actually got promotions yeah. under me were people who are not of this skin color because they automatically assume they deserve something. So yeah. when you get and lean toward them, they talk yeah. bad about you. But you had other people of other ethnic ethnicities who work genuinely harder every single day. So those were the ones I gravitated to. So yeah. it's not like I'm in the wrong circles, but you're managing multiple people um, yeah. you know, from various backgrounds. So they're all gonna look at you differently if you're not just handing out promotions to your people. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. And, plus, and plus it's like, as a, as you know, a, a black man, it's almost like you, you have to work twice as hard, if not three times harder. You could be overqualified. You could be a, you could be in a company where there's ten people and you have ten times better credentials, but you you still have to show you still have to show more. You still have to do more. You're still going to get yeah. when the, when they sit you down to do the evaluation or whatever to talk about the promotion is it, it, it's like if it's 10 questions that you have to answer they're going to add another 10 or another 20 just to try to have an have a reason that they don't have to give it to you it's like you got to jump through hoops of of fire and more hoops of fire right and then more hoops of fire again just to even in some cases be considered and then you got to jump through the hoops and swing across the the lake right. with the with the with the alligators and all that. <laughs> yeah. you know. I mean and and that, that's always been been kind of the the cultural norm as far as America goes because you think about it like just the baseball example Jackie Robinson had to be a fucking Hall of Fame player to be able to be in the major leagues Whereas you had this average ass white dude who's just terrible, you know, is just playing for years, you know. So if he was an average player, he would never made it. You know, it's that's always been a thing where you you have to be, um, you have to be phenomenal or you have to, you can't be mediocre. You got to you know, be extra, whereas, extra, extra, extra mm -hmm. phenomenal. And, Overly, and, yeah. and, and, that's that's part of, and that could be a frustrating <laughs> thing too. Yeah, and, and you got to keep up that performance. Even yeah. after you get the promotion, you can't even say, "Woo, let me relax for 